Bard County was the area that really felt the impact of that storm today. Fox 35's Esther Bowers joining us live right now from there. So Esther, what are you seeing? So I'm here at a home just off US 192 and take a look at this damage behind me. An entire portion of a homeowner's roof caved in during this storm. I mean, the damage is extensive. You can see it is on the ground and there is hail piled on top of it. Now this homeowner, he called Fox 35 to let us know what happened. The story is quite amazing. He says his brother was sitting in this room. Then the homeowner says he just felt this unction to go pull him out. He pulled him out and that's when this roof caved in. So his home is severely damaged from this storm. We, we, we want to walk a little bit and show you a bit more of this damage. And we're also going to walk pretty slowly because we're on ice. Sheets of hail are lining the majority of this homeowner's property in this entire neighborhood, quite frankly. So we do want to be careful, but we're going to take you inside this area where it fell. And the homeowner says it all happened in about 13 minutes. This kind of damage just took place. They were terrified. So I'm going to step inside here. Here. This was someone's roof and it is now on the ground. And we know we're talking about this baseball size hail. This is more pea size hail. I'm going to kind of show you just how much ended up here on this roof. And the homeowner says it was the heaviness of this hail that really caused it to cave in. We're going to give you a bit of a closer look just at these at these these chunks of ice. I mean, we're in Florida. He tells us he's been here 40 years. He's never seen any Anything quite like this. This is not large hail. This is more so pea size hail. Pea size hail, but it is absolutely covering this entire roof that is now on the ground. And I'm gonna yep, show you that a little bit more. It did that much damage. Now, if we walk out here and just kind of survey this area a little bit more, this home was hit very hard. Like I said, we're off US 192 here in Melbourne. The silver lining of this all is the homeowner and his brother, they are safe. They survived any injuries from this storm. They have a lot of lasting impact that we can see, but take a listen to what he shared with us when this all happened. It's a miracle that the whole damn trailer, excuse my friend, so sorry, the whole trailer didn't cave in. I'm surprised just this half and the other half got flooded. I, I thank God for that. And when God told me to come out of the bathroom and save my brother, it was like a miracle to me. Because I grabbed him and like I said, I pulled him out. As soon as I pulled him out, the whole roof caved in. If I didn't pull him out, he would have been dead. What? You know, it, it was shocking to me. That is absolutely shocking. Now, we did move over to a different part of his home. This home, this part of the home, excuse me, right here behind me, it's now flooded. So he has broken windows, water inside, just a tremendous amount of damage. But like we said, only his home was hit very hard. We're looking at all the others here in the neighborhood. They do not have this kind of damage. But those severe thunderstorms, they came in fast, about 15 minutes long, causing lasting damage. And we know our team is keeping a close eye with more severe storms on the way. Guys, we'll send things back to you.